If you existed at any point between 1990 and 2012, you may recall the absolute chokehold that People magazine had on Western culture. One of the reasons for this was their yearly feature, Sexiest Man Alive, in which a good-looking celebrity is selected and everyone gets to complain about the choice. If that feature wasn't bad enough, the editors at People also decided to add about a dozen other categories in which they could pick the sexiest men. One of those categories is Sexiest Athlete Alive, which was, in 1998, accidentally awarded to this guy. This is Elvis Gerback, the starting quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs from 1997 to 2000. And while I'm not here to insult the man, he's not exactly Brad Pitt, nor is he even Paul Rudd. He's not even Javier Bardem in the movie where he played a zombie pirate. So how was this man named Sexiest Athlete Alive? The answer falls upon the editors of People magazine. When they were having a meeting to pick a man for all their weird categories, someone mentioned that the Kansas City quarterback was really hot. Everyone seemed to agree, so the story moved forward. But here's the problem. During the ninth game of the 1997 NFL season, Elvis Gerback broke his collarbone and had to miss six games. During that time, his role was replaced by the backup quarterback, Rich Gannon. And Rich Gannon looked like this. Yes, the People magazine editors were referring to the backup quarterback. Presumably, they had their selection meeting during the six weeks that Gannon was leading the team. And all they told their reporters was that the Chiefs quarterback was their sexiest athlete alive. By the time those reporters showed up to Kansas City to do the story, Gerback was once again the starting quarterback. The Chiefs PR director said that when the team first heard that their quarterback was the sexiest athlete alive, quote, a number of us were surprised. Elvis Gerback was supposedly the most surprised, but he went along with it and participated in People Magazine's photo shoot and interview. When the pictures got back to the magazine's headquarters, they realized something was wrong. One of the editors at the time, Jennifer Wolf, says that somebody asked, this is the guy, before the group quickly figured out they had photographed the wrong quarterback. At this point, you would assume they'd go back and do the interview with Gannon, or maybe just scrap the category altogether. Instead, the editors at People Magazine went ahead and ran the story for the simple reason that they didn't have the heart to tell Gerback they had made a mistake. Wolf said, They felt so bad. We couldn't cancel it at that point. It would be so mean. So, in 1998's Sexiest Man Alive edition of People Magazine, this was what they published for the Sexiest Athlete category. Yes, that's Elvis Gerback sitting in his locker room showing off the old dogs in a t-shirt and jeans with a towel on his knee. Never has anyone looked more uncomfortable than that man does. The blurb they cobbled together has a number of great moments, including the magazine calling him a stalwartly handsome guy with a crew cut and a chiseled jaw. The people they interviewed have some lovely things to say as well. Gerback's college coach describes him as laid back and quiet and says, I never pictured Elvis as a ladies man. One of his teammates simply describes him as a regular guy who has a family and goes to work Monday through Friday. But the best quote comes from Gerbach's wife, who hits us with the legendary line, his personality makes him sexy. You know the selection was bad when even the guy's wife can't understand why he was chosen for this. I don't think that interview could have made him seem more boring if it tried. Naturally, the public was also confused, leading to a press conference with Gerbach where he was forced to address this. He explained that he was dumbfounded by the whole thing and said, there's guys in that locker room that are 10 times better looking than I am. Now that's a very humble and respectful statement from Gerback, but I suppose that's why his personality is what makes him sexy. And as the People magazine interview hinted at, Gerback was not a guy who chased the limelight. So he told reporters, let's just drop it right there and has never addressed it since. After nine seasons in the NFL, Gerback retired and became the football coach at his old high school. These days, he only enters the public eye to give speeches about how great the Lord is. Apparently, he converted to Catholicism while going through his dark times, which I can only assume was the depression that came after he lost his Sexiest Athlete Alive title to running back Ricky Williams the following year. To add insult to injury, Rich Gannon actually ended up being a better quarterback than Gerback, playing 18 seasons in the NFL before becoming a sports commentator for CBS. But he'll never have a personality as sexy as Elvis Gerback. Now please consider subscribing or I'll send you a framed photo of Elvis Gerback showing off his feet.